Have you ever wondered if the universe, with all its complexity and beauty, was designed just so? Let's step into the realm of cosmic contemplation, where we ponder the mysteries of the universe and its seemingly perfect design. This concept, often referred to as a designed universe, has been a topic of intrigue for philosophers, scientists, and thinkers alike for centuries. It's a paradox that combines the intricate and the astronomical, the microscopic and the cosmic. It's the idea that the universe, in its vast expanse and intricate detail, might not be a product of random events, but rather the result of a deliberate design. Yet, as with any profound question, it's accompanied by a healthy dose of skepticism. Many in the scientific community argue that our understanding of the universe is still limited and that what seems like design may just be a reflection of our lack of knowledge. They posit that the universe's apparent order may be the result of natural processes we are yet to fully comprehend. But there's a twist in the tale. The concept of cosmic coincidences. These are seemingly unlikely occurrences that have aligned in such a way to make life as we know it possible. It's as if the universe has been fine-tuned to an impossible degree of precision, leading some to believe that this could be evidence of a designed universe. Imagine the universe as a grand cosmic lottery, where the odds of winning are astronomically slim. Yet here we are, living, breathing, and contemplating the universe's mysteries. The fact that we exist at all is one of the greatest cosmic coincidences, and it's this idea that fuels the debate about a designed universe. So, are we the result of a grand design? Or are we simply cosmic lottery winners? Buckle up as we delve into the fascinating world of cosmic coincidences that may suggest a designed universe. First up, we have the fine-tuned universe theory. This mind-bending concept ponders over the precise balance of the universe's fundamental physical constants. These constants are the essential values in our universe that govern everything, from the speed of light to the strength of gravity. Now here's the intriguing thing, these constants are not random. They're finely adjusted to values that allow life as we know it to exist. It's like the universe has been meticulously calibrated to make sure life could spring into existence. Let's consider a few examples to illustrate this. Take the gravitational constant, for instance. This determines the force of attraction between two masses. Imagine if this constant were slightly stronger. In such a universe, stars would burn out too quickly, not leaving enough time for life to evolve. On the other hand, if gravity were a tad weaker, Stars couldn't form at all, and there'd be no heat or light for life to thrive. Or let's look at the cosmological constant, which controls the accelerated expansion of the universe. If it were slightly larger, the universe would expand too rapidly, preventing galaxies and stars from forming. Conversely, if it were smaller, the universe would collapse upon itself. And it's not just about these two constants. There are about two dozen fundamental constants that have to be precisely what they are for us to exist. It's as if the universe has been fine-tuned for life. If any of these constants were even slightly different, the universe as we know it would be vastly different, possibly even inhospitable. So we find ourselves in a universe that seems tailor-made for our existence, a place where the cosmic symphony plays just the right notes for life to dance. It's a thought that fills us with wonder and raises countless questions. Is this fine-tuning merely a cosmic coincidence? Or is there a grand designer behind this intricate orchestration? It's a mystery we may never fully unravel, but it's fascinating to ponder, nonetheless. If that's not a cosmic coincidence, what is? Next, we enter the Goldilocks zone. Picture a region around a star, not too close, not too far, but just right for life as we know it to exist. This is the Goldilocks zone, named after the famous fairy tale character who preferred everything to be just right. The Goldilocks zone, or habitable zone, is an astronomical term for the region around a star where conditions could be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. And as we know, water is a fundamental ingredient for life as we understand it. Now let's consider our home, the Earth. It sits comfortably within the Sun's Goldilocks zone, approximately 93 million miles away from the star. It's not so close that all the water would evaporate from the heat, nor is it so far that all the water would freeze from the cold. It's in that sweet spot where water can remain in liquid form, allowing life to thrive. But it's not just about the distance. The Earth's slightly tilted axis results in the change of seasons, contributing to a diverse range of habitats. The planet's magnetic field protects us from harmful solar radiation. And the Moon, our celestial companion, provides tidal effects that influence our climate. All these factors work in beautiful harmony, making Earth a perfect candidate within the Goldilocks zone. But what about the rest of the universe? With billions of stars, each potentially hosting a planetary system, 
The odds seem promising that there may be other planets residing in their star's Goldilocks zone. Yet, finding another Earth is no easy task. Even with our most advanced telescopes, detecting these planets, let alone confirming their habitability, is like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack. But we continue to search, fueled by the fundamental human desire to understand our place in the universe. A perfect spot in the vast universe for life to thrive, don't you think? Now let's turn our gaze to the anthropic principle. This intriguing concept is all about the way the universe's fundamental physical constants are set up. They are not just random values. No, they are precisely what they need to be to allow for observers to exist. So what does this mean? The anthropic principle is essentially the idea that the universe has been fine-tuned for conscious, intelligent life. It's like the universe was set up like a stage, all the props and settings meticulously arranged, just waiting for the actors. That's us, by the way, to make their grand entrance. Let's dive a little deeper. The universe is governed by certain physical constants. These are values that determine how the universe operates, like the speed of light or the strength of gravity. But here's the kicker. If these constants were even slightly different, Life as we know it couldn't exist. The universe would be a very different place and not one conducive to the existence of conscious observers. For example, if gravity were just a bit stronger, stars would burn out too quickly for life to develop. If it were a bit weaker, stars might not form at all. It's a delicate balance and we're right in the sweet spot. But why are things this way? That's the million dollar question. Some suggest it's all just a cosmic coincidence. Others propose the existence of a multiverse where every possible set of constants exists in a different universe, and we just happen to live in the one that allows for life. And then there are those who see the hand of a designer, fine-tuning the universe for our benefit. Whatever the reason, the anthropic principle certainly gives us food for thought. It suggests that the universe isn't just a random collection of stars and galaxies. It's a place that seems to have been designed with us in mind. A universe designed for observers. Now that's interesting, isn't it? As we wrap up, let's ponder on the implications of these cosmic coincidences. We've journeyed through the vastness of the cosmos, touching on intriguing concepts like the fine-tuned universe, the Goldilocks zone, and the anthropic principle. Each of these concepts carries profound implications, suggesting that our universe isn't just a random jumble of celestial bodies and forces, but a carefully calibrated system that seems almost designed for life. Consider the fine-tuned universe. It's a concept that implies our universe is precisely calibrated to support life as we know it. From the strength of gravity to the density of the cosmic microwave background, each parameter is set just right. Change one even slightly and the universe might be a lifeless void. Then there's the Goldilocks zone, a term borrowed from a childhood fairy tale, that describes the habitable zone around a star where conditions are just right, not too hot, not too cold, for life to exist. It's an intriguing concept that suggests our planet isn't just a random speck in the cosmos, but is situated in the perfect spot for life to thrive. And finally, the anthropic principle, the philosophical consideration that observations of the universe must be compatible with the conscious life that observes it. In other words, we're here because the universe allows us to be. These concepts, these cosmic coincidences, provoke a profound question. Is our universe a product of design or happenstance? Some see in these coincidences evidence of a cosmic designer. Others, however, argue that these conditions are simply the result of natural laws and processes, and that life arose not because the universe was fine-tuned for it, but because it adapted to the conditions that existed. Whether these cosmic coincidences are evidence of a designed universe, or simply the result of natural laws, they certainly make our universe a fascinating place to explore.